Good morning, gentlemen. Today, my lecture topic is electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are the vehicles which use one or more motor for propulsion. It is the high time for us to convert our motor vehicles into electric vehicles. Electric vehicle motor uses clean fuels like hydrogen cell or fuel cell. As a, if we use electrical vehicles as our vehicle, so it would help us to reduce many of our problems. Problems like global warming and pollution. If we use vehicles, electric vehicles, then the pollution can also be reduced as the vehicles like uh, motor vehicles uses petroleum as their fuel cell. If we use electric vehicles, uh, then we can uh, then we can reduce our non-renewable non sources which will help us in the future. Electric vehicles, can, many of the countries in the world also started using electric vehicles. But in our country, electric vehicles are not in so much use. So it's our time to, for our society and our country to use electric vehicles as their main vehicles. Also, if we use electric vehicles, then many of our problems like jams and all other will be reduced. Electric vehicles can, all, can not only be the road vehicles, it, it can also be the used as aircrafts and ship jets. If we use uh, electric vehicles, uh, then the country, if we use the electric vehicles, then we should, we can be get developed, developed nation like other countries. Thank you. Okay, next. Good morning, friends. Today's food, uh, lecture topic, my woman empowerment. As we know that woman empowerment is to empower the women in different fields, like uh, education, and health scheme and there are so many fields uh, how in if uh, we talk about the ancient time women are not given women were not given so many rights for so many things uh, they were not given, given to the uh, their uh, decisions and uh, they are not allowed also for the education and uh, but we are living in the present time uh, women are also women are also uh, are we not we can com compare women with the men also that women are uh, so energetic and they are taking part in all fields. Just like if provide the women uh, education, they are uh, uh, comp competing the uh, men in the same way. And uh, if we uh, say that uh, there are so many other reasons to empowering the women, that uh, women's uh, health scheme and take decisions and they are so, and uh, women empowerment is very necessary because uh, if uh, we provide the facility, all facilities for the women, they will uh, make more increment in the in the society, and for uh, all society, it will also be uh, a very uh, good uh, system. And uh, we see that there are so many uh, ways that uh, if we provide the women education, so many examples like uh, Kalpana Chawla was the first Indian astronaut, which was. Uh, which was uh, which was the first Indian astronaut from India, an Indian woman astronaut, and uh, there are so many fields like engineering, doctor, IAS, IPS, uh, and uh, that were uh, poor uh, women are giving their responsibility, giving their hundred uh, percent in comparison to uh, men, and they are also taking responsibilities. But uh, in uh, in but in some villages, we are not providing uh, women in the women uh, the same rights is in, compar in comparison to the men but uh, uh, the future is for the uh, but future uh, we are going to be the we uh, it's our responsibility that uh, we, uh, we did not uh, make any difference between the women and the men so the main thing is that women are women are uh, not uh, less than any person men and uh, there are so many ways that uh, not only the education, but uh, in the present era, women and men, men are doing the same work with uh, each other. And uh, there are so many uh, schemes that was earned by the government, which Beti Bachao, Beti Padao. And uh, uh, so the government is also trying uh, to establish the, uh, all facilities for the women there and uh, to yes, provide them. Jain friends, today my topic is EdTech. <laughs> which means educational technology. Now we see the, the investment of technology in our education is enhancing our, is enhancing our education day by day. Uh, now our education shifts from board, chalk and marker to the uh, laptop uh, screens and the mobile phones. From past few years, we have seen the result in, in good manner. Now 
we are seeing that uh, this technology enhancing our education and the quality of education in our world. There are many pros and cons of education uh, at tech in our country. The pros of education are now education is now education is provided in the every corner of the world by the technologies. Uh, every weak or poor student is going to in, uh, go, going to access, access the education from the village and the any areas of the country. And the third one is uh, now any student which have less economy can deal with the good teacher on the platform like YouTube and uh, social medias. It is also economic economical in the economical in the fees and bills. It also helps the helps to secure our money from transport fee and any other fees. Nowadays, uh, the the institute the institute can also save his money because there is no infrastructure needed to the uh, in, in in this type of education and the demerits of this education is the students are not going to interact with physically with the physically with the teachers and the, they can not able to learn the moral values now it will be better if the online education provide moral values to, to the student and will give a familiar situation to the student to and it will it will make the student more social and more adaptable to the society thanks next so good morning friends so friends, the topic which I have chosen is the free trade agreement. So friends, as we know that every country, uh, it is a time of the, uh, is a time of the biodiversity, uh, geopolitical uh, scenario where every country was trying to uh, create a good relation with the other countries. Why the every country was trying to uh, create a good relations with the other country? Because as we all know that we are glo globalized now. Everyone wants to know what the uh, things uh, the other country were using and the uh, and the assets they were using were they are efficient and they were uh, easily able to uh, come in their country and the people who can to uh, can be able to use it now. But if I talk about the free trade agreement, it is an agreement between the two two nations and a bilateral talk between the two countries where they can know that what uh, the thing the things they are going to export in their countries were going to be uh, uh, were going to be efficient for them and also there should be no tariff on them. So, if I take an example about the free trade agreement, recently we all know that the Australia and India has also created a free trade agreement uh, so that they can, uh, they can exchange their thoughts and also in the name of the thoughts they can exchange their assets which can boost up their economy and also the, their, uh, their social economic development can also take place. So, if I also talk about the Australia, then another example is that recently India has also created the uh, free trade agreement with the UAE. So, why the UAE uh, was concerned for the India for the trade, free trade agreement? The so, reason is that basically UAE is now um, uh, looking forward uh, to move towards their uh, regional uh, natural resources uh, which is they are provided by the natural things like uh, petroleum. They want to uh, more explore the nations like country like India where uh, the various aspects of people were living together in a one place where the people were more uh, in, uh, looking towards the things which can uh, help to develop their economy. So that's why they want to look uh, towards the India and they try to uh, create the free trade agreement with the country like India. So, if I talk about a country like another country, I would like to take uh, as an example like UK. UK, there is a bilateral talk was going on with the UK uh, to create a free trade agreement, but I think it is under the process and India will look towards it that uh, what are the uh, advantages of uh, taking the free trade agreement uh, with the country like UK. So, free trade is, uh, is a trade between the two countries and it will definitely help the, both the countries in the either in the form of the uh, economic uh, terms or either in the form of the friendly terms or uh, either in the form of development terms. So, uh, so uh, friends, uh, I would like to conclude my words by saying this that yes, free trade agreement is, uh, uh, is very beneficial for any country uh, uh, to, be, uh, to go on further with these deals because these deals will let the countries uh, their uh, development on the basis of social uh, aspect and the economic aspect and also uh, on the terms of their uh, political aspects. So these things were necessary for any country as, a, as per the, these demanding days of the country's development. So I think it definitely helped the work. Thank you. Hello friends, Jai Hind everyone. Today I have chosen my topic as a lecture of my favorite book. Uh, so uh, we all know that from ancient ages, books are the best friend of all uh, humans. Uh, from ancient ages, we have seen that the uh, uh, process of writing all the books have, chosen, uh, have been changed from handwritten mode to printing mode. Earlier, we all had manuscripts 
and the, the manuscripts and the things that were written on the palm leaves and that were only by hands. And slowly there were some industrial revolutions by which John Gutenberg, firstly he discovered a printing machine and he started printing the books electro electrically. And after that we have seen all the books in ele electrical forms. So coming to the topic uh, about my favorite book, uh, so from all the books that I have read uh, from my childhood to up to date, uh, I, the best book I have found is that the autobiography of Yogi, which was written by Paramahansa Yoganandji. Uh, we all know that this, is a, this book is a best international seller uh, from many decades uh, and it is seen that most of the successful persons like Bill Gates and our uh, famous cricket star Virat Kohli, they have said that the, they, uh, after reading the books, uh, after reading this book, they have reached to the, the uh, height of success. Uh, so in this book, uh, Paramahans Yogaranji had said about uh, the uh, ancient uh, Guru Sishya system of our Indian culture and how he had developed the uh, scientifically the process. Uh, he has described the scientific process of the ancient medita meditation techniques that we were practicing. Uh, in that book, he has also uh, made about uh, he has also written about his uh, main gurus and his guru, his guru was Sri Yukteswarji and then the main guru that is Param, uh, that is Mahabhatar Babaji and it is said that he has been staying in the Himalayas from uh, 5000 years ago and still he is now younger as, and he is looking like a uh, young boy of 25 years age. Uh, from this we can see that uh, how much developed our ancient meditation techniques were and uh, he has started the uh, he has started spreading the Indian techniques, Indian meditation techniques in the yes. West. And uh, he had said that uh, West can also follow the uh, follow the techniques of meditation. And but we Indians are only following the Western techniques, and we are slowly forgetting our Indian traditions. So it will be my humble request to all of our Indians that we should follow our own techniques. We should not follow behind the Western techniques. That's all. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. My today's topic is new industrial policy and the industrial policy history of India. So industrial policy is a set of measures set by the government to uh, encourage the manufacturing sector and enhance the uh, policies to make the uh, industry sector more economic, uh, economically uh, uh, strong and make the economy very uh, smooth to run. So the main objectives of ind uh, new industrial policy were the, uh, to increase the uh, to increase more employment opportunities and to uh, increase the enhancement of economic growth in India. So talking about the history of uh, industrial policy, the first industrial policy resolution was in 1948. It was focused on uh, in economic growth. It was focused on small scale and cottage industries, and therefore it also restricted the foreign investment in the country. After that, new industrial resolution 1956 came. According to that, it was also focused on the small scale industries and it also in, uh, encourages the manufacturing sector as well. After that, new industrial statement came in 1977. Uh, according to that, the main focus was decentralization and government also banned and restricted many of the manufacturing industries from the uh, multinational companies. After that, 1980, is the new industrial uh, statement of India. According to that, it was also focused on the small scale industry, but it was also focused on the foreign investment as well. After that, the new industrial policy that is along with the new economic policy came in 1991. According to that, the objectives, the main objectives were new industrial policy have to make sure the economic growth can grow uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, enhancement in the manufacturing sector as well and according to new industrial policy liberalization globalization and privatization were, were the main concept of new industrial policy liberalization refers to where there no government control over the manufacturing industries at, uh, as government liberalized the manufacturing sectors industries as well the globalization makes the country more enhancement in gro economic growth and foreign exchange investment Forex results were increasing at that time and India was growing. That was Next. the very... Good morning everyone. My topic is women education. 
and i am deliberate all the points about women education women is an integral part of our society it's cover 50% of our population if we forget women education then we should remember we forget the half part of the society which can help our growth so if women will be educated then it may help our houses and it may help of our tech companies and our future is grown and our government schemes also helps our women education that's is beti bachao and beti padhao its campaign is very important for us and in the village population i in my point of view that every citizen of the village must be counseling for our women's women education it converts society of our education and women will be educated and helps every aspects of our society thank you so let's end the session now okay so this was the practice for your lecture eight test number 36 you chose the second topic you have to work on in enthusiasm enthusiasm was good involvement was good you just have to keep it natural organizing ability was also quite fine content was fine overall performance was good test number 42 Second topic was there. Involvement was somewhere lacking. Legs ki movement ho rahi thi. Try to maintain a proper body posture. You spoke only for one minute thirty second. Try to increase the time limit because that will show you have lack of content. Arts uh, number forty nine. You have to work on your body language, fluency, organizing ability. Content was fine, but you need to uh, put in some more facts and data. You spoke for entire three minutes, so that was fine. Test number ninety three. यो थोड़ी बहुत लेग की मूवमेंट हो रही है अदरवाइज कॉन्फिडेंस आज गुड इनफ पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन थोड़ा वर्क करना है एक्शन पे वर्क करना है एनर्जी एंड एंथोजियाजम इज फाइन इन्वॉल्वमेंट थोड़ा सा और बढ़ाना है अपनी बातों को समझाओ थोड़ा ज़्यादा कंफर्टेबिलिटी विथ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज समेर लैकिंग यू स्पोक ओनली फॉर टू मिनट सो टाइम लिमिट को थोड़ा बढ़ाना पड़ेगा वन हंड्रेड टेन बी काम एंड कम्पोज तो परफॉर्मेंस ज़्यादा बेहतर जाएगी इन्वॉल्वमेंट अच्छा था कंटेंट वॉज क्वाइट फाइन Uh, you spoke for three minutes. थोड़ा सा परफॉर्मेंस पे कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल और बढ़ाओ शुरुआत जो थी वो हल्का सा हेजिटेंट हो गई थी अदरवाइज एवरी थिंग वॉज वेरी गुड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व थर्ड टॉपिक वॉज दे फ्लुएंसी पे थोड़ा सा वर्क करना अदरवाइज कंटेंट वॉज फाइन एंथोजियाजम पे थोड़ा सा वर्क करो वॉइस की क्लैरिटी पे थोड़ा और वर्क करो पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन पहले से बहुत बेहतर हो गया है केप इट अप यू स्पोक फॉर थ्री मिनट्स और टाइम एंड कंटेंट इज फाइन वन ट्वेंटी फोर फ्लुएंसी पे थोड़ा वर्क करना है पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन पे थोड़ा वर्क करना है बॉडी लैंग्वेज की थोड़ी बहुत मूवमेंट हो रही है हल्के बहुत फिलर्स आ रहे हैं अदरवाइज टेस्ट ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस वॉज ओके यू स्पोक फॉर एंटायर थ्री मिनट्स जिसमें वन थर्टी सिक्स कंटेंट की थोड़ी कमी होगी और थोड़ा सा पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन और कॉन्फिडेंस पे वर्क करना है ठीक है सो दिस विल बी योर रिव्यू फॉर टूडे यू हैव टू कीप ऑन वर्किंग ऑन दिस एंड टूमोरो प्रैक्टिस अगेन ठीक है सो थैंक यू ऑल